calculations just to see if you know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide. All these questions could be on a calculator or a non-calculator but we should always practice our non-calculator skills. When we're adding you don't have to have the big number on top. Just remember you carry numbers carefully and there should be no problem. But when you subtract you must have the big number on top. Now most people do it by borrowing just like that but as long as you're happy with your way but of course you don't have to borrow if the top number is in fact bigger than the bottom number so let's do this one 9 take away 7 is 2 now I've got to borrow 2 take away 4 so I've got 12 take away 4 and there's my answer. Multiply 73 by 4. Now you could write down 73 four times and add it up. In the exam there's nothing wrong with doing that if you like. I'm going to do it this way. 4 threes are 12, carry the 1. 4 sevens are 28, 1 is 29. The examiner won't mind how you do your different questions. As long as you get the right answer. Divide 144 by 6. Now the best way is to use this bracket method. But if you're not happy with this method and you've got another method, well that's okay. 6 is into 14 goes 2 and 2 over. So we now go 6 is into 24 goes 4. So there's the answer. Calculations or computations they're sometimes called. Got a table of information. And the information is about different toys sold by a shop and the prices of the different toys. We're going to get a series of questions about it. Joe buys a model boat and a pedal car. How much does she pay? Now, temptation here is to do this in your head. Now, if it's a calculator paper, then of course you can just type it in. But we're going to practice non-calculator. And I would never do this in my head. You don't have to put the big amount on top when you're adding up, but I tend to. Now, where's the 15.99 going to go? Now whether you fill this in with noughts or not doesn't matter, it's up to you. But if you write it down like this, and don't forget your carry number, you're less likely to get it wrong. I'm not saying you'll get it wrong if you do it in your head, but let's not gamble. Let's make sure we get it right in the exam. So writing it down is the safest way of doing it. Same list of prices. Along comes Mr Hall with a £20 note and he pays for two sets of building blocks. So he buys two of them. With his £20 note, how much change does he get? Now again, how much you do in your head is up to you. I would do this. I'd say that two times eight pounds is sixteen pounds. So this is going to be two pennies less than that. That's one way of doing it. It's up to you whether you do it or not. Now I've got to do the £20 and take off the £15.98. Again, how you do that is up to you. If you do it in your head, to be careful. If you take £15 over 20 you'll have £5. If you're going to take more than £15 off, you're going to have less than £5. Now, how you arrive at that answer, whether you do a subtraction, and you remember you're borrowing and how to do it, or whether you do it in your head, that's up to you. Part C, still looking at these items from the toy shop. 
Mrs. Joe's has fifty pounds. How many models cars could she buy with? Or I should have put the same amount there. I've typed it. Made a typing mistake there, haven't I? So let's put that fifty pounds again there. That was careless of me. So Mrs. Pounds, Mrs. Jones has got fifty pounds. How many model cars can she buy? Well, there's her model car. So one model car is going to cost her eleven pounds ninety-nine. That's almost twelve pounds, isn't it? So let's work with twelve pounds. So how many twelve pounds is are there in fifty pounds? Well, just thinking, four twelves are forty-eight. So she'd buy four and have some change. Now the question doesn't ask to work out the change, just purely how many can she buy. So that's as accurate as I need be. I can think to myself, we'll use £12 instead of £11.99. And because four twelves are 48, and she's only got £50, she's certainly only got enough for the four cars. Well I think that'll do for our first session of Level 3 exam questions. We'll do some more later.